Okay, we're going to do some video ordering with SmartBoard. What we're going to do is make a lesson. This is only partially way done. There's going to be shapes. You can click on a shape and a video will come up and appear. The students will order these shapes or videos in the sequence that they should be in uh, to be in the correct order. All right, so let's go through how this would happen. All right, first of all, you want to create a problem. Uh, maybe not more than six steps. Six steps seems to be the, the most that you would have. And you create them in SmartBoard. I have uh, just a math problem, step one, step two, step three, step four. All right. Then use your Smart Recorder. I'm going to show you where that is. That's in Start, Programs, and then you go to Smart Technologies, Smart Notebook, and then you'll hit Smart Recorder. I actually am already in Smart Recorder, so I don't need to open that up. Uh, but you'll do this for each step. You'll, there's a red button on this. You'll click on it, and you'll need a headset to talk into it. And then you'll hit Stop and save it as Step 1, Step 2, Step 3, and so on. Okay, put your videos in your attachments. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go into my attachments okay and I'll hit insert okay and I'll ask it'll ask for an insert of the copy of a file this is what we want the copy of it okay I'm just gonna put step four in again I already have step four in there and it'll go right into there you'll have step one step two step three step four now you can use those and link them to your shapes Okay, what we're going to do is go to our shapes. I'll make a new shape, uh, maybe a pentagon. And let's make that red. So I go to my properties, fill effects. Let's just make that red. Okay, now I need to associate that shape with the video. So I go to the drop down menu. I highlighted it and drop down and hit link. And I go, I have some options here, but I'm going to go to current attachments. And this would be step four. And I, I want to go to the object so that whenever I click in the middle of the object, it'll be a link. Okay. I'm going to select all these objects and lock them and allow to move. This will allow me so that I could double click it and it won't open. And, and so I don't have to uh, have a problem of typing in there for my students. Okay, let's check what's next. Um, so I made the shapes, put them in the correct order, clone the page, and write key on this page. Okay, so I have this, and I hit clone the page. And now you can see there's two. This page, I'm going to write key. As a matter of fact, I'm going to draw a little box around this because my students can peek at the next slide so I always like to draw this as just a green box that would kind of be my knowledge that that's the key okay now I want to reorder this because uh, I don't want this to be in that same order okay so maybe I'll have that one okay so there we go there's the new order that's wrong, and the students will have to figure this out. Okay, and then lastly, have your students come up in pairs. So they're going to come up. They will click on one of these shapes. All right, when they click on one of these shapes, a the video is going to open with your explanation of how you did the problem. Then the partner that are up at the board will go to the side. They're, they're talking about wh where this belongs, and everybody else in the class is talking about it as well. And then they come back and they put it in the right order. Maybe they put it first, and then um, we pick a new pair of students to come up and click a different video. You'll do this four times, and they'll order out these into the correct sequence. It's a great uh, lesson. It cements the ordering process of a problem. It also is a good example for the students of how to do a problem 
uh, step by step. Hope this has helped. Have a good day.